So just find yourself somewhere to sit or lay comfortably and just allow yourself just just have a moment or two where you just relax. Take a couple of deeper breaths in your own time. I want you to do is to just focus. I want you to focus. Focus on that feeling of, like you said, that most relaxed place. Imagine yourself being in the bath with the shower running. It's almost as if the water will just calm you, relax you, as it does. So just allow yourself to imagine as that water just runs down and over the head. You can feel the warmth of the water. And just focus your breath on the forehead and the muscles around the forehead and the top of the head. And just allow, allow those muscles just to relax if they're tense, if they're tight. And follow that feeling into the eyes and notice the eyes just gently moving under the eyelids. All the way down, the cheek muscles and the jaw. As it reaches the jaw, just travels around the sides, down into the neck and the shoulders and finding as you just focus on your shoulders and the thought of that relaxed place, you can just find your shoulders just sink a little bit deeper, a little bit more relaxed. Taking yourself as deep as you need to go. And just allowing that feeling down into the arms and the hands and the fingers. And just allowing so just to feel the heaviness of the arms, the hands, the fingers. Everything else can wait. Being aware of the rise and fall of the chest, how relaxed your breaths be coming down into the stomach and the hips. Way down to the tops of the legs. And the heaviness of the body it just sinks down deeper into that thought of relaxation in its own time. As I said, everything else, everything else can wait. Just allowing that feeling just to travel down, almost as if that thought of being in the bath with the water running down just relaxes. That's all the all the negative stuff that's been held on to to just drain away, wash away, down the plug hole. Just leaving nothing but relaxation, nothing but a foundation of relaxation. And just allowing yourself just to enjoy those relaxing feelings, calm, tranquility. Which is allowing your mind just to wander wherever it wants to, wherever it will. You don't even need to listen to me. Your unconscious mind will hear every word that's said. It's a nice sometimes just to be able to pay no attention at times. As you become thoroughly absorbed in something you truly enjoy. And of course, if I draw your attention to listening to something that's really irrelevant to you, then you might find it impossible to resist at first. But you can learn. But you really can learn how to control that inner voice. And the unconscious mind knows exactly what I'm talking about. It knows how. That's a switch off something it's been doing, learning its whole life. When you switch off a light and the room becomes dark, you don't see what was obvious before you. 
when you switch off a radio or a TV, you can't hear the music that's played or the words that are uttered, and yet they are still there. You're no longer tuned into them. But for far too long, you keep tuning into that inner critical voice, the voice that tells you you can't do something, you're not good enough. Any of those other negative suggestions or implications that have been holding you back from doing what you really want to do, from being who you really are. But soon, very soon, all this is going to change. Instead of listening to that self-criticism. Begin to hear those words of encouragement, positive suggestions. That make you feel good. Now, most people who pay too much attention to their critical voice have been influenced in some way by an event that's happened in the past can be an unsupportive adult older siblings even so-called friends so to eliminate any possibilities any possible past negative influences I want you just for a moment or two just tune into that inner critical voice. Hear examples of things it says to you. Go inside and listen. Some of those things you told me about. I'm going to be quiet for a moment. And just allow yourself just to acknowledge when you start to hear that voice, things you've said. I'm going to just be quiet for a moment or two while you listen. Knowing what that voice is saying. Who does it sound like? At first it may sound like your own voice, but it's because it's become integrated with your way of thinking. If you listen closely, it will remind you of somebody else. So listen. Just allow yourself to acknowledge it inside. Inside your subconscious, you know whose voice or words that remind you of. And just be aware. Where do you want you now to follow? Follow that voice back to a time when those words, very similar words, spoken by someone else. I want to imagine you could project that voice onto a large white screen or a wall. See a picture. See yourself in that picture too. Those words. Those words have been putting you down in some way. How did they make you feel back then? Probably. Probably much younger when you first heard them. Smaller. Less knowledgeable didn't have all those life experiences you have now but now you're no longer that child who's easily influenced by others as you look in that mirror that reflection you're a mature adult with a mind of your own distinguishing right from wrong and knowing that criticism back then was wrong for you even if by some remote chance words spoken were true at the time. You can realise now those adults' approach was wrong. And what you really needed was confidence building, encouragement, explanations to help you understand what you needed to do. Phase out those critical adult, that one you pictured. What are we to do to replace it? In your mind with a self-assured, confident version of yourself. See how your body language should be, your shoulders back. Hear the words that should have been spoken. How you encourage people now, say it in a very gentle way. Easy for you to understand. I want you to imagine that screen. Hear the words of praise and encouragement, positive phrases achieve results in a far more effective way. 
turn up the screen, make that one brighter, as I said. Colour it with vibrant colours, energy. And know whatever it was that happened in the past was never your fault. You're just a child who did the best they could. Let that screen disappear. Imagine it's almost the end of a show. The curtains are closing, the lights becoming brighter. Just resting back in your room, listening to the sound of my voice. Almost back without a moment to lose. Time to get on with enjoying life. Taking wider strides into the great outdoors. Listening. Now, because you've listened to self-criticism for far too long, long enough, perhaps putting off doing what you really wanted to do. Well, your oyster right now. This is your life, your time to tune into those positive thoughts. Tune out of those ones that were holding you back. You are good enough. You're always good enough. You just didn't believe in yourself and all that is going to change because you're a friend and a guide to yourself. Subconscious mind is now your best friend. No more listening, no more self-doubt. Telling yourself that you can't do this or that. Knowing you're as capable as anybody else. And that life experience, that maturity. Sensitive, caring, kind. And being kind to yourself now. Just as you're kind to others. And instead of... Instead of thinking... I can't. Imagine yourself in a situation where you would have doubted your abilities, criticised some aspect of yourself. Would you ever have treated your own best friend like that? Of course not. But this is exactly what you were doing. All that's in the past and now. You can concentrate on the present, the here and now, a future that holds the promise of abundant opportunities. And in the present and future, new ways of thinking, feeling. Instead of thinking, I can't do this. Go and have a go. Nothing to lose and everything to gain. And remember the saying, if you don't ask, the answer is always no. You're moving forward now. Becoming that confident person. This is a journey forward. What the abilities, plenty of ability. And you remember you're a good and a worthwhile person, loving and respecting yourself, your own best friend, no more doubts, no more self criticism. From now on, that inner voice is going to encourage you. Be kind to yourself. It doesn't matter what happened yesterday, last week, 10 years ago. We're focusing on the present. Tuning in to those positive thoughts. Knowing these suggestions are firmly embedded in the subconscious mind. I grow stronger. Stronger by the day, by the hour, by the moment. Now in a moment, what I'm going to do is I'm going to count all the way from one to five. Count of five, refreshed, relaxed. Your eyes will only open when they're ready to and when they've fully finished that story that we talked about. Allowed everything that needs to be to firmly embed itself with the suggestions to continue on that work into the unconscious mind. So, one, just being aware of the surroundings around you, your room. Two, being aware of your own breath, how relaxed your breath allows your body to become. Three, being aware of the temperature on your face, on your hands. Four, being aware of that normal feeling of heaviness. And five, as I said, only when it's made all the changes it needs to and allows all those suggestions to embed themselves, will it allow the eyes to open, will it allow you to come back into the room refreshed, Relaxed or maybe just to fall into a deep sleep, whichever you need to do at that time. And five.